How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome to something a little bit different. Today we're going to be doing an older game. This is um, a game that I've been wanting to play for quite some time. It is uh, the Zero it's the Zero Escape Trilogy I picked up the other day because it was on special on Steam for like 10 bucks or something. And uh, this is the first game in that series. And since I had a lot of fun with the Light Step Chronicles, doing the voices and you know, that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. I think this is going to be a good time too. This is, from what I know of it, it seems like some cross between anime and a Saw movie. Which sounds pretty badass to me. <laughs> so we're going to jump in and just see how that goes. If you guys want to see more, let me know that you want to see more. Otherwise we can end it here. But uh, uh, there's nothing really pressing about what I need to play right now. So we can just sort of play whatever. So This is apparently a remaster. I believe of a Vita game, maybe? I don't know. Let's just jump in. I think it has multiple endings, as is the norm, really, but, uh... We shall see. Hopefully we get a chance to do some awesome voices. <laughs> or terrible voices. We shall see. Both of these things are interchangeable. Alright, here we go. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the...? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize his surroundings. Ow. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggled to understand what was going on. Junpei tumbled down to the cold grey floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? I just hear to be the narrator now, because they've got their own voices. I felt pretty far. I'll be Morgan Freeman. I wish I was Morgan really Freeman. <laughs> damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Well, this is a shitty room. But at least we got a kettle. Where am I? Hmm. Wait, it it stopped? What's that sound? I think this is going to be a good time. <laughs> That's... Maybe we got to play uh, Laser Fear 2 as well. That's something we got to do. Five? What's this five? I feel mean? like I'm going to need something to write on. Hang on. <laughs> it's going to be one of those games. It's going to be one of those... Okay, there we go. I got a piece of paper. Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> I like that there's no music, but that ambient, terrifying noise. Huh? <laughs> what the hell is this? A watch? Five. It doesn't look like one. Just like on the door. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. Yeah. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. I don't know it's fully voice acted. That's pretty badass. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. 
Huh. Flashbacks. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What the... What the hell is going on here? That doesn't look good. <laughs> oh wow, that is not good. What the hell? God damn it! Hey, anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I need to find a way out. I'm fast. Do I have to do that? Oh, here we go. Seek a way out. How? <laughs> Use the watch on the door thing. Third class cabin. Am I controlling this? I don't know what I'm looking for. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you're restricted to an area. Your goal, search around and uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that'll help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. Okay. Nothing hidden in the sink. This is the only drain in the room. We need it to be bigger then. <laughs> Once you obtain an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item in the top left will make you take will take you to the item screen. Picture frame. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, so it's like a point and click game. The last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item or press V to quickly change between them. Okay. What does the note say? S search? Yeah, I see that. Red, blue, that's gonna be a hint, right? Just somehow. Uh, yeah, back. Uh, what else? What else? This? This? There's a table. Water is pouring onto it like a little waterfall. I don't see anything useful there. <laughs> like a little waterfall that doesn't make me feel better. Dickhead. There's a key. Looks like there is. A key? Yeah, there's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. Is that for the blue thing there? Are we looking for a red key now? Door to the stove. It opens easily enough. Sure. Wish the door could... To get out of here was so easy to open. <laughs> That solves the mystery of whether the stove has been used before. It looks a red. Screwdriver. It's combining items. What on earth would I combine? This music was making me panic, I have to admit. <laughs> I don't like it. No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Let's see what happens if I put the blue key in the keyhole. And nothing. So we need the, the combination as well. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several minigames. All operations for the minigames are done by clicking the screen. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something. While others will only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. You need four numbers this way and then click the key. If the number is correct, it'll unlock. I don't know the number. Damn it, open you stupid thing. I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it a couple of times. Might make me feel better. Not gonna help though. All right, Jinpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so what are we combining? Screwdriver got those screws off easily enough and here's the picture. Can I see the back of the picture? Bingo. Okay, so it's uh, seven, four, six, 
three. The color mustn't matter. Seven, four, six, three. Let's try that. Yep. Let's go. Yes! Did that work? Wait, did that not work? Are you serious? Let me have a look. It's got the arrow pointing which way you need to read it as well. Can I just combine them? I cannot. So that's right then, isn't it? 7463? Here we go, here we go, another one. Memo from bed. Does it have something on the back? How do I know which one's which? So we got two now. Okay. No, it doesn't look very comfortable, but I guess at this point it doesn't really matter. Nothing here. Sorry, I should be narrating more, but at the moment I'm panicking as well. <laughs> I can't help with that music, man. Alright, let's try this one. So it's zero, two, Eight. Five. Let's try that. Are you serious? Blue. Oh my god. I get the feeling that it's just the blue half. It's just the blue half. So it's actually zero two six three. Zero two six three. Let's try that. Maybe I'm not smart enough for this. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. All right. Let's see if those numbers work. Turn to the key and hey, looks like it's working. Yes. All right. Let's open it up. Yes. It opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? If you find any documents or notes during the escape, and information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Press enter to open the file screen, okay. Let's see what's in this file. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. Add all the numbers in, the qu in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, then add the digits to one another. Okay, yeah, yeah. Keep adding digits until you have a single digit answer. That's your digital root. The digital root of 678 would be... So that would be a... 13... 21... 3. It would be 3. Yeah. Therefore the digital root of 678 is 3. Okay, alright, alright. I get it, I get it. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook. A pen. A calculator. And a stack of keycards, huh? Looks like some keycards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Isn't that the one we did? That's the one with the root number of three. Six, seven, eight. Isn't it? Six, seven, thirteen, eight, is twenty-one, three. Yeah, three. New material has been added to the file screen. Press end to open the calculator screen. The calculator can calculate a digital root, which will be important for the progression of the story. Shouldn't I have to do that in my head? Surely. Surely that would make more sense to do it in my head. Alright, let's have a look here. Can we do something with this door panel now? The cards have the numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's slide these cards in and see if they would a work. And. Huh. It's not working. Why? Damn it. Do I need some other cards to get this to work? I need to find those more cards now. I've looked everywhere. There's nowhere left. Is there? Pretty sure there's nowhere left. Oh, wait, what about in there? Aha! Well, we already know how to open this one. It's a red briefcase. Well, this one's easy because we already got the answer, basically. It's just 
the red version. So this will be seven, uh, four, eight, five. Ah, oh. yes it does, but we don't have the key. Oh crap, we don't have the red key. Where the hell's the red key? Are you for serious, Monarius, right now? Um, here, are cheesing the table. The water's already up to the chair. Not helpful. Nothing on the shelf. Nothing in the bulletin board. Well, now I'm pooping my pants again. God damn it. Pretty poor excuse for a bed. There's barely any space between the bed and the ceiling. I don't think there'd be enough space to turn over. I bet money this was for poorer passengers or maybe the ship's crew. I gotta die someday, but it sure as hell don't want it to be here. What about in here? Key. It's a mirror. Yeah, man. What's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... Flashback. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. <laughs> oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. What? Who are... I... I can't... Well, that was, uh, efficient. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. We're gonna play a game. A normally game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Yay, how exciting, thank you. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said you have been chosen. The scarecrow. It's the, the scarecrow. What's going on? <laughs> Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The normal game. It is a game where you he said it. put your life on the line. The nonary game. Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? Ugh, God damn it! Dude, we gotta go do this, right? There's water pouring in, we know how to do it. We just gonna stand here while the water reaches our ankles? Jesus. Do something productive, man. Oops. Of course it's not opening, you dipshit. Yes, yes. I mean, I should be reading that out, I guess, but, uh... I didn't... I didn't work out the number again. Yes, yes, yes. Item. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't work out the number again. Alright, so the number is seven four eight five. That's what I reckon. Let's rock it. Are we good? Yes! I unlocked it. Key cards. Stack of red key cards. Can we have a look at them? There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Okay, so we use the three from that one because that's the the digital whatever majigger. The digital root of the blue ones, right? Not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one of the hint. Of course, the files. The files said something about a digital root. The digital root, the digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There's a five on the door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? Not really sure about this. Ah, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. 
I'll just slide the cards to give me a digital root of five through the reader. Click three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected card will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect the currently selected cards. After you select the three cards, click on the device. Okay, a digital root of five. How do I restart? Oh. God damn! Yes, I know, I know. Don't fucking explain it to me again, Jesus. Alright, I'll definitely just work it out of my head then, I guess. Uh, 6 and 8 is... 6 and 8 is 14 plus 7. Oh, that, that, that digital root is 3. So that's not going to work. Let's try 3, 6 and 7. So that's 9, 16... Mm, that's not quite right. 1, 6 and 7? So that's 13, 14... Yeah, one, six, seven. Boom. We good? Alright, I think this is gonna work. Here we go. That's a new noise. Huh. Did, I just un did it just unlock? Well, that light was red and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. You'd think the massive weight of all the water there would keep you in there. To an extent. Wouldn't you? Okay, it opens outwards. You're alright. You're alright. Like a shit ton of water would come pouring out as well, though. <laughs> you have to try and close the door behind you. <laughs> Ow. Ow. That went well. Uh, my head. Wait, is it? Is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Sounds like you're familiar with being flushed down a toilet. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. We're gonna Come paddle down there. Water. Let me go. Huh. Yes, it opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Apparently. Well, a fancy ship, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? <laughs> that doesn't help then. Oh, we kind shit. of, shit. Okay, I, I kind of boned out. anyway. <laughs> sea deck. <laughs> this is not going well for you, Junpei. Sea deck. Hurry, hurry. A deck's next. What? Who are you guys? People. A lot of people. Um, uh, um yeah. I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well. No, I'm not. Okay then. But her name was Dancer. <laughs> Silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. <laughs> Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Are you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! Hold on. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> huh? Uh, Is that surprising? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? What is going on? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? <laughs> the doors on A deck are no good. Okay. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Five. Four? And this one says... They're the same. Put your watch on the thingy. Look, it's round. And had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspect the rest of you. Yes. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number. Mountain. On. That's your yes, name. we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? 
Someone's got an attitude. Open! Damn it! Fuck, it's not opening. The stamp thing won't even budge. Out of my way. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. Means you watch on the thing, you there dipshit. Must be some other way. <laughs> Next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. Uh, damn it! <laughs> They're not very smart, are they? Any other door? Probably one for each person. There's nine doors, I would imagine. It's scarcely taking a step when at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl too stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested that she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magical spell. As Junpei stepped into her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. The quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his yeah. own. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard coming from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened oh her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? 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 Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory uh, returned. Akane. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurash Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. Uh, at that moment... What? What's that voice? This is that guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here! I'm I like this guy. You. <laughs> what do you mean to do to us? This guy's my Vegeta, <laughs> my anti-hero. Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Uh oh. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Correct. You will call them the numbered doors. Well, that's nice and straightforward. <laughs> the doors in front of you are a pair of the same. 
The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Obviously. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, oh the door God. will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Oh my god, it's maths time! <laughs> all those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Oh god. So, so the least we take in the bitter. Is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Obviously, yes. <laughs> you should pick a different voice with the voice modulator. I don't like it. Not nine real life hours, surely. I couldn't cope with I that. I think that. I'd die. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's, it's the, the clock. clock telling us the time. Well, it's convenient. It's just on time to start the nine hour thing. So nine o'clock then? I think it's nine p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Oh my god, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Do you really? Or do you just want to see us get murdered in gruesome ways? Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> well, we're not gonna get anywhere standing around here. Way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No, there's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. That's Best what I said. Get moving, don't you think? <laughs> get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Well, that's what we have to do, unless you want to sit here and starve to death or eat each other. Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually going to do what this this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We, what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. This is since the lower floors are filling up as we speak, you know. I can work with that. <laughs> then let's go. Alright, well we're out of time for today. Whoa. We're out of time for today and it's just gonna keep going, I think, at this hell? stage. It's completely submerged. What does that button do? Huh. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. So we're gonna wrap this one up here, but we'll do another episode, and if you guys are really keen on it, we'll just keep going. Um, and we'll see where it goes. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.